boys and girls. I got this new book in the mail today and I thought I'd share it with you. It is a African fairy tale and it's going to sound a lot like Little Red Riding Hood. It's called Pretty Salma, a Little Red Riding Hood story from Africa. The author is Nikki Daly. Salma lived with her granny and grandfather on the quiet side of town. One day, her granny said, Salma, pretty Salma, please go to the market for your old granny who loves you so. Salma put on her blue scarf, her stripy natama, natama is a skirt, her pretty white beads, and her yellow sandals. She tucked Granny's shopping list in her natama, lifted Granny's big straw basket onto her head, and kissed Granny goodbye. Straight there and back again, said Granny, and don't talk to strangers. You hear? Okay, I promise, said Salma. Off went Salma, flip-flop, flip-flop, in her yellow sandals. As she walked, she sang her favorite song. Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, come kiss Granny, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. At the market, she bought a giant watermelon, a speckled rooster, and ice-cold pink drink and a bunch of candy striped straws. And there she is with all of it in, on top of her head. That's how they carry things in Africa. The sun was growing hot and the basket felt very heavy. So Sama decided to take a shortcut home through the wild side of town. All along the way, she sang her favorite song. Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, come kiss Granny, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. Are you pretty Salma? asked a stranger. It was Mr. Dog. He had been listening to her song. Yes, said Salma. Are you going to Granny's? asked Mr. Dog. Yes, said Salma. Well, your basket is much too heavy for such a pretty little head, said Mr. Dog. Allow me to carry it for you. Salma did feel a bit dizzy from the heat, so she agreed to let Mr. Dog carry her basket. Mm. After a while, Mr. Dog asked, What are you wearing on your feet? Sandals, replied Pretty Salma. They must be making your little feet very hot, he said. Why don't I wear them for you? So they stopped and Mr. Dog slipped his big feet into Salma's sandals. On they went. Floppity flip, flippity flop. After a while, Mr. Dog asked, What's that wrap you're wearing? My lip natama, replied Salma. I bet you'd feel cooler without it. I'd be happy to wear it for you. No sooner had Mr. Dog wrapped Salma's natama around himself, than he asked for her scarf and pretty beads. How do I look? asked Mr. Dog, striking a pose. Mr. Dog strutted along the road in high style. Salma began to miss her things. But when she asked for them back, Mr. Dog only said, Some music will help us beat the heat. Won't you teach me a song? So Sama tried to teach him her favorite song. 
Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, come kiss Granny, the darling old Granny, who loves you so. But Mr. Dog was hopeless at singing. All he could do was go, I need a lot more practice, said Mr. Dog. And until I learn to sing, you won't get your things back. Salma begged, Salma pleaded. Mr. Dog, Mr. Dog, please give me my things. Mr. Dog growled. Shh, you will never, ever get your things back. Now run away, little girl, before I bite you in two. Poor Salma got such a fright when she saw his sharp teeth that she ran and ran and ran until she found her grandfather dressed in his Anasi costume telling stories. So that's actually her grandfather dressed up in a costume telling stories to children. When grandfather heard Salma's story, he said, that's a very exciting story, Salma, but it doesn't sound like a happy ending. How can we save Granny? I know, said Salma. We'll, we'll scare Mr. Dog. Exactly how will we scare Mr. Dog? Said Salma, putting on the mask of Kaka Motobi, the boogeyman. Here she sees putting on, his, on the mask. Salma picked up Anasi's a tumpin and beat it loudly. Goima, goima. Grandfather picked up his rattles and gave them a fierce shake. Shuka, shuka. Little Ab Abu Baker, who loved a good scare, joined in with clapping sticks. Katak, atak. Let's go, cried Salma. So off to Granny's are headed. Meanwhile, When Granny saw Mr. Dog flip-flopping up the path, she thought it was her pretty Salma. Salma, pretty Salma, come give your Granny a kiss, cried Granny. Mr. Dog leaped up and gave her a sloppy kiss. Oh, my Salma, said Granny, what a wet nose you have. Granny took the heavy basket from Mr. Dog and said, Salma, pretty Salma, you look hungry, let's eat. Mr. Dog started to chase the speckled rooster round and round. Oh my, Salma, said Granny, what an appetite you have. Then Granny said, Salma, pretty Salma, it's time for your bath into the bath, leaped Mr. Dog. Oh, my Sama, said Granny. What hairy ears you have. Are you sure you're my pretty Sama? Jumping onto Granny's lap and wagging his tail. Now Granny was really worried. Did her pretty Sama have a tail? Perhaps this wasn't her pretty Sama. Well, there was only one way to find out. Let's sing our favorite song, said Granny, and she started to sing. Oh, Salma, pretty Salma, come kiss Granny, your darling old Granny, who loves you so. <laughs> Barked Mr. Dog. Then Granny knew she had been tricked. She reached for her broom out, get out. But Mr. Dog liked being pretty Salma far too much to leave Granny's house. So instead he growled and snapped at her. Granny was afraid Mr. Dog was going to bite her in two. So she jumped into her cooking pot. Mr. Dog pushed the lid down. Mmm, nice, he thought, Granny soup. Granny cried, help, help.
Just then, the door burst open with a loud, Goima, Goima, Shuka, Shuka, Katak, Atak. When Mr. Dog saw Kaka Motabi, the boogeyman, and his gang, he got a terrible fright. That bad dog slipped and tripped over his miserable tail right out of the house, back to the wild side of town. Sama took off her mask and helped Granny climb out of the pot. Then they all sat down to eat watermelon and sip an ice cold pink drink through candy striped straws. The next day, Granny sent Salma to market to buy new clothes. Salma went straight there and back, and she never talked to strangers again. I hope you like that book. If you like it, you could probably find it in your library. It's called Pretty Salma, A Little Red Riding Hood Story from Africa by Nikki Daly. Hope to see you soon. Miss you.